Well, just to, to talk a little bit about the Will painting, and the title Will was very deliberate and chosen for that painting. In 1974, I felt that I was starting to get a handle on how I wanted to proceed with the practice of painting and with... Um, and I, I felt very much, and this is going to sound actually very um, calculative, but it, I, when I look back on it, it wasn't so much, cal- I, f- I felt I needed a way to get, to get rid of my um, ego, to like somehow get my, my practices and my habits in terms of painting out and reduce. And I was also at the time looking at and beginning to understand much more clearly painters like Marden mm-hmm. and Agnes Martin, uh, Al Held, um, I-, I was thinking Ellsworth Kelly, um, more conceptual kind of minimal ways of thinking. It took me a number of years to kind of get to the point in my own painting where I began to really to both accept it and go against it, I think, at the same time. Well, this is a kind of simplified, very um, drawn, graphic kind of of, of tougher think, thinking about painting. The what I was really starting to focus on was how do how do I want to paint? How do I want to build the paint up in the space? Mm-hmm. And the the I want the shape of the canvas was very important. I began, I think, with a painting like this to sort of think about shape. Um, and different kind of balances and different kind of orders. But the thing that was just as important was like talking about the physicality of the paint. Mm